Well, welcome to Granny Horse Train. And we're here with Lacey. And I'm going to do a little bit of hand, in hand work with her. It's August 2nd. All right. And we got something different set up, right? Right. And you can go to this mat here in a second. All right. Now I'm going to ask you to go to the mat. Go to the mat. Now, this is a mixing of positive and negative reinforcement. Go through the corridor. When you go up to that mat. All right. Now, I want her to go back through the corridor. I want her to turn around. Good girl. Okay, so what she was, why I set this up was because I wanted her to learn to go through something and stay away from me. And I wanted to set up some muscle memory and feeling for her to be able to do that back and forth lateral lunging thing, but have it be in front of me and me keeping the distance on her. But I wanted to try to do it with the least aversive methods. I don't want to do get that distance away from me by using a whip. I want to try to do it with positive reinforcement tools that she's already been acclimated to, the mats and going between the cones and stuff. Um, so now I'm going to ask her again with light pressure to turn around. Come on, Lacey. And I want to go through there. Good girl, good girl. There. So. Let's come a little forward this way. And then we turn around. There. Because I was having a heck of a time without any targets or anything to get her off of me. Now this is a little difficult. Go to the map. get her to start knowing the feeling of the rope but it's just the feeling for us our little umbilical cord but we're still doing some positive reinforcement so let's come up Lacey walk Lacey walk see how she gets right in on top of me and turn around Now, I had think of doing this and putting that barrel between me and her. Oh, no, now see, now she's testing. She wants to be close to me. Go through there. Nope. Nope. I'm asking you through there. I ask you to go over. I'll just use a little pressure. Over. There you go. And go through there. Go to the mat. She could be losing her patience too. She did a lot of ground tying there and we did the saddle which wasn't fitting good because I had them still looking for the right cinch for her. And so, and as any young horse, she has not got the attention span of an older animal. Okay. Well, let's just try walking around a little bit. Okay. Go to the right. Let's go up and around this. And the right. Let's go this way. Good. I'm asking her to go out and around things. Now let's go to the mat. Now I want her to kind of go in front of me. Go to the mat. Good girl. Good girl. So I want her to get used to that. I'm still attached by the rope, but she can go ahead of me too. We're still attached by the rope, but she doesn't have to be right on top of me. All right, come on. Go to the mat. So, 
we're getting the picture. So thanks for watching, and this is one way you can modify one of those natural horsemanship uh, exercises of doing a lateral lunging and modify it into a least adversive exercise. Let's go around and do something different. Now I'm on the her left hand side, so I want to make her go up and around the barrel. Yeah, your friends aren't there. Okay. And now, I'm going to do it from this other side, starting off. So when we have the mats and the guaranteed reinforcers of that, just knowing it, it keeps it positive for her. So you notice this is the first in-hand session of my day with her. And she's not doing what she was doing when I was just trying to lead her back and forth between cones when the circle's still set up with just the cones. So let's come up here and we'll ground tie for a second. Turn the camera off because this video is obviously getting too long for YouTube. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my 80 subscribers. And I hope that you're getting some value from my videos. Um, have a good afternoon. Bye now.